alphabet with which the world's name begins, which is S. In pursuit of excellence, in our desire to be excellent, what we need is Can you read this? Can you say it loudly? This is the chassis on which you can build a car. Without self-confidence, you will not be able to do anything. You have knowledge, but if you don't have self-confidence, you will not speak in the way that you are expected to. Do you remember if, if many of us have studied in school for exams, we would feel nervous and many of the times because of nervousness, many of the times we would forget. I don't know, that used to happen to me. I would go blind. Sometimes because of the lack of self-confidence, we don't want to take initiatives and do something new. So the first thing that I wanted to work on is self-confidence. How do you work on self-confidence? By dealing or in your words, tackling with the fear of failure. One of the most effective ways of increasing confidence is learn to deal with failure. Because once you are okay with dealing with failure, you will not have that lack of self-confidence. You will not be nervous. But then you may ask me, how do I deal with failure? By simply understanding that failure is part of success. Tell me one person who has not failed yet. There are successful industrialists who started a business and it has failed. You know what has been interesting about these people who have failed is they have learned from the failure. So I request each and every one of you, <coughs> increase your self-confidence by trying to understand how you can deal with nervousness, tension, worry. And one of the ways is keep learning. When you fail, find out why you failed. As they say in English, do the root cause analysis. If you have made a mistake, also remember, mistakes are not made purposefully. Mistakes happen. You have to say sorry. You have to apologize. You have to learn from it and go ahead. The simplest example happened when I arrived in Suwa. Within 15 days or something, I got a car. When I was driving, I was not very familiar with the rules of Suwa and Fiji because India, the driving is very different. I wouldn't say better, bad, nothing, but it's different. I mistakenly crossed, you know, you have these um, zebra crossing where people can, and I didn't know that the cars are supposed to wait for the people. That the first right is for the person to, you know, sort of, I didn't know that. In India, it doesn't work like that. People actually say, stop, stop, you want to go. Here the car stopped on their own. I sort of went ahead on the zebra cross. The people was crossing. I didn't realize they were going to cross. I thought they will wait for me to go. But when I stopped the car, some of the people who were, there were like three or four people crossing. Two of them looked at me and gave me a very dirty look. They were at least polite enough not to say anything. But they gave me a dirty look and I didn't know what. But then I realized that I had already crossed and it was my fault. I should have done it. The point is, when they gave me the dirty look as though to tell me that I made a mistake, I got out of the car, I felt so pathetic, I left the car where it was, picked up a cab and went to my hotel. Do you think that's possible? I don't think so, right? I mean, am I that crazy? What I did is, I said, you know, when they give you the dirty look, I just said, in my, with my lips, I said, I'm sorry. The moment I said I'm sorry, they gave me a half smile, as if to say, it's all right, don't worry, chill. Because they at least appreciated that this guy has accepted his fault. But I drove and went to my hotel. What I'm trying to tell you is, I went forward, I realized it's a mistake, but I didn't get all tensed up about it. I learned from it. So now when I drive, I know exactly what to do. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. If you can work on yourself in this way where you realize that there's a mistake and work on it, but I'll go forward and not get 
stuck in your mistake. When you get stuck, you'll keep losing your confidence. Clear? The first S which will give you the strength to go ahead is self-confidence. And one of the ways, effective ways is try to look at failure as a part of success and learn from your mistakes. Can I go to the next alphabet of this name, please? that you become creative. The one word which represents new ideas is being creative. I want each and every one of us to start thinking of how we can do our work in a different way. Every week have one objective apart from the others, have one objective that is, can I come up with something new as an idea that I can share with my boss? If you have that kind of an attitude, remember you will grow faster. Do you know? Have you heard of Facebook? Of course you have. WhatsApp, Viber. These are all results of new ideas, isn't it? Yes. Somebody got the idea. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, was studying in Harvard. He got an idea. Why not have college students interact on a social network? It was just an idea. It has developed into something amazing like Facebook. Are you getting what I'm saying? In your organization, in the department that you are, learn to develop the attitude to develop new ideas. Otherwise, you will become stagnant. The river has to flow. Your ideas have to flow. Then you may say, Vayul, how do I develop new ideas? If you keep thinking of new ideas, you will get something. Because the brain has the capacity to remember that. Animals have their own ways of becoming creative, isn't it? Have you realized that? A spider, not Spider-Man, a spider is creative. You know how? It uses the web as a trap. Actually, a web is what? It's for it to stay, right? It's, it's, it's house. It builds a web and it's there on the web. There are spiders, like the funnel web spider. You may not have heard of it, but I like spiders. Maybe I like snakes, but I love spiders too. What they do is, you know, they, they make holes and they stay in, you know, sort of these holes on the ground and they put, they, they have something like a, a trap with their own web. What they're doing is, they are good at making webs, but they're using it in a different way. They're using it to attract prey or rather make the prey get trapped into the web. I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. If a spider can be creative, why not us? All we have to do is, have the desire to be creative. John, are you with me? Yes. What about yes. everyone else? And remember, when we talk about new ideas, it isn't that every idea has to work. Your objective is not that your idea has to work. The objective is that I should have many ideas and from which something or the other will work. Today we, uh, we use mobile phone, but you know the origin of that was Graham Bell or something, right? Somebody who, who, in, who, who created the telephone. My point is this, that today what we are using is a result of creativity, right? So we must, in our own department, in our own function, try to be a little creative. But I haven't used the word creative. For me, more simplistic is having the attitude to develop new ideas. Can I go to the next one? We come now towards this, you know, the bottom, the other side of this thing, the A. This word has come, but I'm going to re-emphasize, because it's very important. I hope I've spelled it correctly. Can you read it loud? Adaptability or more easy. Can you read this, please? Adapt to change. Adapt to change. 
please understand that you are in on earth you are working in an industry your your life itself is such where changes will happen somebody who is today unmarried becomes married change it have to change that's a personal life tomorrow you will have a new function tomorrow you will have a new line to work on it have to change we have tackled this particular point earlier i will not invest too much of time all i'm saying is when some good change occurs please don't resist it please don't complain about it first find out if that change is good for you for your career if it is good for you adapt another word for adapt is adjust another word for adaptability is being flexible all i say is let's be like water what is the one of the most beautiful properties of water nature of water it goes into any vessel any shape right but it remains unchanged we should go into any environment like a water like the water but we must not lose our identity in fact we must keep improving ourselves all i say to you is friends don't be rigid if tomorrow a new responsibility comes to you don't say why me take it like the crocodile grab it clear clear then comes the i of this name not the i the i alphabet what would this be can you read this word please if you can develop inspiration you will not have any problems of attendance because the moment you are inspired you will always want to do things faster <coughs> you will always want to not miss things because when you are inspired that emotion itself will get you to do things what is inspiration it's coming together of three emotions i call them the three e's when your levels of energy are high when your levels of enthusiasm is high when your levels of excitement is high that is exactly when you can say i'm inspired when you're inspired you can do many things without getting stressed there are people who go to office as if they be pushed to the office that's when their inspiration is low you clear so every day i'm mean, making it this very practical every day find a reason to increase your enthusiasm your excitement your energy levels every day that is when you will get inspired to come to office find a reason one thing would be that when i go to office i will do something different or it could be that i will improve on my performance for the day have a reason to come to office that reason itself will enhance your inspiration can i go to the next one <coughs> well friends this is that l with which we began the session and that l with which i conclude the session that l which will actually help you to rise in whatever that you do it's that l without which you will become you may become or we may become that lake where there's no flow the same water it may invite more sinkholes it will become stagnant that l which will lead you to career success that l which has happened through all the interactions we've had since morning what am i talking about yeah, yeah. absolutely Fantastic. We cannot ignore this because this is the fundamental uh, pillar of growth. Learning. Another word for learning is knowledge. Keep developing knowledge. You meet somebody interesting, learn. You read something interesting, learn. You are put in a different function, learn. Because when you don't learn, you will not grow. you will be doing well but you will be in the same position i used to ride a motorcycle i wanted to ride or drive a good car what is the difference just having a desire to drive a new car or a good car is not enough i have to learn right 
So when you want to grow, you got to learn. Learn what? If you say, I want to grow as a supervisor. Learn what is required to be a successful supervisor. Meet in this organization. Meet somebody who according to you is a very good supervisor. And when you interact with that person, learn. Getting my point? Yes. Learning can happen anywhere. Today, haven't we learned from honeybees and crocodiles and uh, caterpillar and butterflies? We have learned, isn't it? Then why can't we learn from everything? The point is learn. If we are, which I know we are, if we are very clear about growing in our career, then this snail will always help you. If we say to ourselves that probably, you know, I've been in this organization for a long time, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm happy where I am, then this session may not help you. Because this session is about accelerating your performance. This session is about helping you jump to higher levels of success. If you want to do that, whether you're 44 or 43, it doesn't matter. What matters is you have the aspiration to grow. Have you heard of Kentucky Fried Chicken? It's called KFC. It's very popular in the world. I don't know if it's here. You know at what age? It's one of the most successful organizations, Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's, it's bigger than McDonald's. Have you heard of McDonald's? KFC is bigger than McDonald's. That's what I believe. But it's as big. You know at what age KFC was started? I mean, not the age of KFC. At what age the person started KFC? If I can put it that way. He was more than 60 years old. The person who started KFC started that business of chicken and whatever that he did when he was about 60. So if you have the aspirations, age doesn't matter. All you have to do is keep learning. Are you clear, friends? Yes. I hope that this snail will help you leap like a cheetah. All you have to do is just think about it and one step at a time, work on every alphabet of the snail. Self-confidence, new ideas, adapting to change, inspiration, and finally, continuously updating yourself and learning. That's what I wanted to share with all of you. I personally and formally thank each and every one of you for making me enjoy this session <laughs> too much. <laughs>